Some of our top weather concerns today include some messy weather moving into the northeast as well as some flood concerns across portions of the Ohio Valley stretching down to the lower Mississippi River Valley. But we begin with the view from Plymouth, New Hampshire. The flakes began to fly this morning and they're going to continue to fly as we head through the rest of the day today and into tomorrow. The National Weather Service has winter storm warnings in effect not only for that Plymouth, New Hampshire area, but uh, all those pink shaded areas as well as winter weather advisories stretching from Maine into the northern portions of Pennsylvania. A system moving across the area will be bringing snow to the northern tier of the region, but temperatures are a little bit warmer, but further south, and that's where that precipitation will come in the form of rain and uh, even some freezing rain. So certainly uh, not ideal for getting around this region with uh, all the holiday travel coming up. You'll certainly want to allow for plenty of extra time. Snowfall totals through Monday uh, will be highest in these purple shaded areas, around 6 to 12 inches, not out of the question. Burlington picking up just over 8 inches in Portland, Maine, also over six inches. Further toward the south, we have a slow moving front that's going to gradually push it into the eastern U.S. It's pumping in a tremendous amount of Gulf moisture, and that's going to allow for ongoing wet weather beginning this afternoon, continuing overnight tonight and at least into the first part of the day tomorrow across the Ohio Valley. So when you add it all up, it'll lead to some impressive rainfall totals. The highest uh, may be coming out of portions of uh, Mississippi, Arkansas, stretching into the eastern portion or western portions of Tennessee. And we do have some flash flooding concerns for those areas. National Weather Service has a flash flood watch, two to four inches possible, and some isolated areas could even pick up up to six inches of rain over the next 24 hours or so. Um, uh, some of those same areas could see some strong storms, and we do have a severe threat for today, marginal threat stretching from portions of Texas, southern Arkansas, and into Mississippi.